First morning in Sicily. What a way to go to it. Super early. No, I can't do more than this. <sighs> First morning here in Sicily, and Christian, who's in the London club, offered to take us out today. So super excited to go out on this lovely boat with his uncle and Luca, and hopefully not just have another snorkeling excursion in the med and actually shoot something. Definitely copped a little bit more than we bargained for right now. So Daniel's very kindly provided me with a, a weightless weight belt, so today I'm just wearing it as a fashion accessory. The perils of travel. This was certainly one of the most picturesque places I've ever started a dive from. This is the iconic Scopello. Okay, we're gonna go for a few dips here. Let's warm up a little bit. Uh, might be interesting to have a look uh, down this dip. Uh, Realistically, uh, all these drops uh, can be good for Charnia, for uh, groupers. Ah, I see. So make sure you got your torch ready. Conditions look fantastic. The water is a color I haven't seen in a long time. It's flat, there's no wind. The sounds are amazing. Can't wait. Luca wasn't wasting any time and immediately started searching in holes. I swam along the coast for a while and I found this interesting rock sitting up off a ridge. Then I saw this shoal of dentex high off the bottom and milling around the top of the rock. I swear the fish could hear my heart beating, it was so loud. Greedy, tried to go for one of the bigger ones at the back, fell short, very clean water, but a fantastic sign and a fantastic sight just to see these incredible fish out in the open like that. And then a few dives later, I saw a bigger one off in the distance. Hopefully, a sign of good things to come. Unfortunately, sinuses, I think Hannah and I have maybe picked something up on the plane or just burning the candle at both ends and a bit congested. Really good um, time for me to just practice breathing and equalizing because I pretty much can't get this year to go, even in a three meters. <laughs> oh dear. So hopefully that'll clear up. Despite all the sinus troubles, the water was crystal clear, warm, and we were seeing fish. Many people regard the gilted seabrim, or orata in Italian, as one of the hardest fish to shoot out in the open in the Mediterranean. This one certainly didn't give me much of a chance for a shot. I had seen a few smaller dentex on this ridge that were swimming with the bait fish. Although they were too small to shoot, a dive was more than necessary.
No Dentex, but a cheeky orata was sitting behind me, looking straight at me. It too promptly hightailed out of there like the previous one. The scenery was just as spectacular above the water as below it. Christian then took us to a new area looking for Corvina. My GoPro was a little low, but you can just see the shoal of Corvina I'm diving on here. I have never speared one before. I somehow managed to completely miss. Not to worry, I will check the holes nearby. I did 10 dives in the area and saw absolutely nothing. These fish continued to evade me. I just saw six Corvina out in the open. Sorry? I saw six Corvina. Big Corvina. Six of them, yeah. Six of them. Yep, and I missed. <laughs> I missed just, just around that corner there. Yeah. They move so quick. Yeah, you need to always wait for them to move the shoot. <laughs> If you shoot them where they... They're still? They're still, you're gonna miss them. I missed, I can't believe I missed. Yeah. At the next spot, Christian found a local delicacy. All the crustaceans here, like uh, uh, spiny lobsters, uh, lobsters. Yeah. This type of, uh, they call, we call it uh, reach of the sea. See? Uh, they, they're protected. Fortunately for this chikala, they are a protected species in Italy, so Christian put it right back where he found it. Look at this. <laughs> Not the most exciting part of the day, but very, very big exciting point of the day. <laughs> After stopping for some local treats from Palermo that Christian and his family generously brought along for us, we had a few more dives in the shallows to no avail. We called it a day as the boat traffic was starting to get dangerous. It is Sicily in the summer after all. I personally woke up at uh, 3 in the morning, staying out all day for this. But that's not the reason why we went out together. The reason is to enjoy this amazing place that is uh, San Vito Capo and then Castella Mare del Golfo. Such a pleasure to spear fish with you, Daniel. Thank you. Uh, we saw we saw good fish. We saw good fish. I we saw good fish. Same, I missed good fish. Same. Um, but that's spear fishing in the Mediterranean. Definitely, always challenging. Next time uh, we might be like here. We know where to go. I've definitely seen more fish on this trip than that's any good. other place that's in the Mediterranean. Good. I think I saw more dentex and. Gropers and Corvina today than anywhere else in in days of diving. That's so it's amazing. great to see there's actually places in the Med that have fish, but they're just still very smart, and I can't get them yet. <laughs> Next time uh, we'll uh, we'll smash it. Definitely. Next time, when my sinuses aren't clogged. <laughs> well, I saw way more fish today than I've ever seen anywhere else in the Med. Seeing those dentex from the surface swirling around that spire was just something that's etched into my mind. I haven't seen the footage yet on the GoPro to see if I captured it well, but I'll never forget it. And then they just didn't come close enough for a shot and I was impatient, rushed it, but next time. And seeing those Corvina in really shallow water as well, amazing. I've wanted an opportunity at those fish since I stuffed one up about five years ago in Ponza in Italy. Same thread continues, stuffed it up again today, but the only thing to do is get out there again, adapt, improve, and wait for the motorbike to do my take. Adapt, improve, and get better at fishing in the Mediterranean because it's really difficult, but seeing the fish just gives me such a great confidence boost to get back out there and try again tomorrow. The next day, Hannah and I were totally wiped out with a virus of some sort. That explains the congested sinuses from the dive day. However, later in the week, I was feeling slightly better, so I decided to give diving one more shot. It is another very early, very gorgeous Sicilian morning. There's this super hot North African wind blowing today, 
which means it's 33 degrees here already at 5.30 a.m. And I am with Christian yet again. He's dragged me out of bed very early to try and redeem ourselves, or well, me anyway, because I didn't shoot any fish the other day. So hopefully there's gonna be some predators in the shallows, asleep, ready for us to make dinner. Christian found this immense cave against the shoreline and I'd never seen anything like it. It just kept going further and further back. Who knows what could be down there? I've never seen a cave like that. I'm sure that, I'm sure it must go back, what, 20, 30 meters. Now this is what I would describe as a labyrinth. Nooks and crannies at every turn. I'm sure there would be fish here in the right conditions. We moved out onto a deeper ridge that Christian knew about. Unfortunately, his ear was having trouble equalizing so he couldn't get down to the bottom. I was happy to take a closer look. This cave had a handful of spiny lobsters, but given they are protected in Italy, they were safe from me. a slightly deeper spot there with Christian watching me down to about 25, 26 meters. You can see anything in the hole, but this wind is ferociously hot. It's, it's literally like a sauna when you stick your head out. Saw so one small dentex hiding in the Sargos earlier today. And some huge caves, but not too much to report. So we'll look at some holes on the way back in and see if we can get something that way. This was going to require a shorter spear gun. Adjusting back to the Mediterranean. 
been spearfishing in Portugal and Spain where it's just totally different. It's been a good reminder to quiet down, slow down, be stealthy about everything and look at holes because that hole there was about this round. Very uh, piccolo buco, see? And saw this conger in there and decided to take it. Never seen one in the Mediterranean. Very happy with a little a little bit of good luck finally. Oh yeah. Thank you, Christian. No worries. <laughs> this gun rocks. Hannah and I had to leave Sicily the next day to continue on our journey, but going out with you, Christian, on the boat with your family was definitely the highlight of our trip to Sicily, and we will have to return soon. Thank you so much for the time and generosity that you and your family showed us. See you on the next episode in Puglia.